Hello and welcome back. This is problem P independent set from Atkota educational DP contest. The problem states that there is a tree with n vertices. So this is a connected graph. And for each of the n minus 1 indices, there is a vertex connecting xi and yi with the h. So basically we need to paint each vertex either white or black and uh, it is not allowed to paint two adjacent vertices both in black so it is not allowed to have a configuration like this this is a tree we color the root as black then we cannot color these two vertices as black because we constrain that adjacent should not be black it should be followed so this should be white and this should be white and if the root is col colored say white the same tree and then here we can basically have a white or a black as well similar for this so whenever we color a node white then the children of that node can have two color two choices either white or black same for this one but if we color it black then there is only one choice which is white so this is the main observation and we need to print the number of ways of coloring under modulo 10 raised to 9 plus 7 constraints are fairly large so n up to 10 raised to 5 and obviously the tree is a connected graph so let's look at one example so uh, first we need to fix the root from which we will start coloring suppose we start coloring from the node index 1 and uh, there are two choices right so first one is to color it black and second one as white so now this tree is divided into two parts which is the child with subtree 2 and child with up to 3 and this is part a and this is part b and now let's find out the number of ways to color the total subtree when we start from the root suppose uh, f of u denotes the number of ways to color the subtree and let's say we start with black right so whenever we are coloring this as black the children cannot be colored black so uh, the subtree for node 2 cannot be black it can only be white similar for subtree for node 3 hence and the number of ways to color this white can be uh, mapped with any coloring in the second subtree so suppose in the subtree or 2 has let's say c1 c2 c3 up to ck colorings so these are unique colorings Similarly, for subtree or node 3, as so basically the count only matters here. So let's say the count here was C1, forget about these terms, and here it was C2. Then uh, the number of ways to color the entire tree would have been C1 multiplied by C2 because any way to color in the subtree of node 2 can be paired up with any coloring in the sub uh, coloring way in subtree node 3 hence this is a multi way mapping that can happen to color the entire tree so this is what i wanted to explain here so any coloring in this part can be mapped with anything in this part so the count of total ways would be c1 times c2 for the entire tree if we start at uh, u then this can be generalized now for our example it would be so since we col colored it black so the children can only be uh, colored white so it would be f of 2 so initially it was 1 and we need to color it white and 
for sub three for node three it would be colored as white as well so this is the main formula that we need to understand and obviously for any leaf node if you are trying to color a single node let's say any node one then it can be colored white or black right so there are two ways and this is obvious because there is no adjacent element adjacent node to this node right so the constraint is it does not matter whether we color it white or black hence there are two ways for the leaf node and you can also solve this from bottom up so the main recurrence that we come up with the observation here is so since we started with black initially so this was the recurrence that we formed if we start with white let me also quickly give you an example so we need to color this as white in that case we are coloring one as white and the number of ways to color the entire tree would have been uh, this can be black or white right similar for this the first one this so whenever it is white the children node whenever parent is colored as white then the child can be either black or white right so it is white then children can be black or white so this will give us the following recurrence so we are coloring node 2 as let's say white or it can be colored as so this is the total ways to color the subtree of node 2 only so this is the only answer for subtree of node 2 and for, for all the mappings that can happen between all the subtrees so this one this one and this one will initially contribute the total coloring of the entire tree so this will be the product of the number of ways individually from all the subtrees so it can be white for node 3 and black as well similar for node 4 f of 4 colored as white and 4 node color as black so this will be the recurrence when we are starting the coloring as white for the root right. i hope this is clear so obviously we are straightforward with the colorings as mentioned in the question we just need to make sure that we are not coloring any two adjacent nodes as black and this will give us the following recurrence so this is the first choice we assume u is the root of the tree as one we start coloring from one assuming we are coloring it white or coloring it as black and initially the total number of ways to color the entire subtree or the entire tree in general would be dp of one white or starting one as black so this entire thing will be the answer obviously we need to also take the mod and yeah we saw whenever it is colored white there can be two choices either black or white for the children or only white for the children whenever it is colored black yeah, this is the recurrence let's go over the implementation okay so n u v are the nodes and the edges variables used for them g is the adjacency list and first of all let's go over the input we are given n and n minus one edges so two to n and we are creating the adjacency list here and since i mentioned that we are assuming that the root is one and it was u variable in the recurrence that we saw since we are starting coloring from node 1 and this parameter is for the parent of node 1 essentially whenever we root something we start there, there is no parent for that node and this is essentially coloring the node as black and one means that we are coloring it as white and finally 
taking the mode and rendering them. So let's go over what the coloring or DFS function is going to look like. So U is the node that we are currently coloring. Parent is the um, ancestor, first ancestor from the node U. Would be parent. This would be U, and V would be the child of node U. Right. For all the child, we need to find their answers, multiply, multiply them, and update the answer for node U. Obviously, this will be for the memorization. We check whether the answer for this is already computed, and if it is computed, we can uh, straightforward return from there. Else, we first find out the product. So, as we saw um, from the recurrence, we want to compute this product depending on what is the color of the current node. So, this would be either black or white or it could be 0 or 1 as we have taken in the implementation. Okay, so whenever it is black, then the product only consists of term which colors this was black this can be white so this is the toggled rotation and whenever it is this is colored white this can be black or white hence there is a first term and the second term so whenever this this will account for zero and one separately and the entire product will be computed and the final answer will be written for that particular subtree essentially we are going to compute the answer for all the subtrees there can be multiple subtrees hanging over here and so on and all of them would be computed from bottom up essentially we don't know the answer for the root but we are recursively computing it so assume this was root we don't know the answer for this but we are asking it to find the answer for all its children and they will essentially call or the recursive recursivity compute the answer for all their children uh, compute them and update the answer from bottom up so essentially the on all the answers for the leaves would be computed then their answer would be propagated to the nodes or parents for for them and essentially the entire answer for the root would be returned from the function that's it about this video this is the memorization part the time complexity for this is uh, let's see this can be order n and nodes are given parent doesn't matter because it is a constant with respect to any node and there can be only two colors so this is constant time as well hence the overall time complexity will be order n and space complexity will also be order n for the adjacency list and the dp dp size is also order n memory yep so that's it about this video if you found this useful do let me know in the comments or if you have any doubts do ask them in the comments i will surely answer them thank you